in the shop today with Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at the steel Imtronic just a little bit today. Uh, you've heard of it, you know what it is, right? It's controlling the ignition and the carburation as air filter gets dirty, as the fuel filter gets dirty, as you change elevation, as the load changes. This thing kind of calibrates itself to get the highest level of performance you can expect. This is not new. It is, but it's not. It's, we're over 10 years into this Imtronic thing, and there was some fear at first, but I can tell you our experience in the shop at Carl's Mower has not added any really additional problems. It's been beneficial to all of our customers. So if you have an MS201T, if you have a MS201, I already said that, MS201T, MS241C, MS261C, MS362C, MS400C, MS462C, MS661C, right? That's it. That's getting into our Mtronic saws. I think that covers all of them. If you pop the uh, air filter cover off like I did on this one right here, there is uh, some wires that are going to indicate that it has Mtronic. You can also tell on how the throttle system works. So we'll look at that in just a minute. Today, we're going to be recalibrating uh, a version 3.0. So they do need some recalibration, right? If something changes on it, uh, I rebuilt a carb, I replaced a fuel filter, uh, maybe it's just, you just feel it's time for a reset, kind of a, a factory reset. You know, we do this to our phones once in a while, we do it to our computers. We can kind of do that to this thing. So right on this label, on the handle, is it's going to tell you what version we have. So we're dealing with a version 3.0 today. The reset for the 2.1 and higher, as of right now, is all the same. There is some older versions, there's some older machines out there. That is not going to say what version of Mtronic it has on it. So you're going to look right on this silver sticker, right there, deep down. Can you see that? And on the end, this one says, hold on, let me flip it so I can read it here. This one says M3.0, right there on the back, right kind of by the ANSI. Uh, on an MS201T, it's on the back, okay, just so you know. So you can look on that sticker and it's going to tell you if it's an old version, meaning not a 2.1 or higher, your reset will be different. I don't have one of those saws here with me today, so I really can't uh, show you exactly how to do that one. So on this guy, what we need to do first is squeeze the trigger and put it in the start or the cold start position. This is where you start this machine up, and when you fire it up, it's kind of running it like an enriched idle, just a, a little sputter, but not like a full choke would be. I'm going to let it run on this position for 30 to 60 seconds. No less than 30, no more than 60. I got a stopwatch behind me right here, so hopefully, once I fire it up, I'll just turn around and set that timer. As soon as it reaches that time, 30 to 60 seconds, I hammer down on this throttle trigger, which is a little scary to me, but I know this thing is gonna be warmed up by that point in time. And I hold this throttle wide open for another roughly 30 seconds and we will hear this saw go through this kind of tuning process, this calibration, and we'll hear it hit different levels of speed over that period. And then near the end, it's gonna go, you know, race really high, really loud for five seconds or so, and then it'll drop down. And I wanna run it there just to make sure that's the final. I'm gonna let go of the trigger, let it idle for roughly five seconds. Shut it off. Okay, so that's the process we're going to go through today. Now, I'm not cutting any wood, but safety is still important. So I'm going to put my chaps on here. Accidents happen, especially when you're holding a saw, doing nothing for 30 seconds plus. I might get a little bored. No, I won't. And I'm definitely going to put my earmuffs on. It's going to get loud, guys. We're in a uh, closed... Uh, room. I got plenty of ventilation. Don't worry about me there, but it's going to get loud. My mic's right here. So hopefully you can hear the chainsaw go through its tuning. Okay. 
You know, first things first, I should have made sure there was enough. Yeah, we're good on fuel. Okay. Fuel's good. Chain brake on, right? Chain is not going to spin. So I'm going to fire this up. I'm going to turn. I'm going to grab the mouse. I'm going to set the timer so we can see what we're up against. And again, remember, we're going to run this for 30 to 60 seconds on this cold start. go that was loud sorry about all that noise did you hear that though right you heard me when I came on it was kind of doing this fluctuation at that high speed and then all of a sudden the thing just ripped sounded awesome it was ready to go to work and then it dropped back down ran it there for just a little bit to make sure that was the final setting idled it down let it idle for five ten seconds shut it off so there we go a steel ms 261c you can set do that same recalibration process on any of your steel Mtronic saws that are version 2.1 or higher. Remember that's hiding right on this sticker back here. So look for it. Look for it to say M 2.1 or M 3.0. If you have an older version, a different version, there is a different recalibration process. I'm going to try to get my hands on one. I don't have any in the shop right now because it's Mtronic and it works. Hey guys, I hope this video helps you all out. Gives you an opportunity to uh, keep your saw in its best running performance condition. We'll see you all soon. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.